Hello, everyone. We're pleased to announce the general availability of online migration for Azure Database for MySQL using Azure DMS. With online migration, businesses can now migrate an instance of Azure Database for MySQL single server, their on-premises MySQL instance, or MySQL servers and other clouds to Azure Database for MySQL flexible server with minimal downtime for critical applications, limiting the impact to service level availability. Azure DMS supports migration for MySQL versions 5.6, 5.7, and 8.0 from the supported source server types of MySQL Community Edition that are both located on-premises or in the cloud, AWS RDS and AWS Aurora for MySQL, and Azure Database for MySQL single server or flexible server. Since announcing the public preview of Azure DMS online migration for MySQL, we've made several key updates which include full server migration portal experience, replication warning improvements, support for database schema migration, and more. Now let's jump over to a quick demo of online migration for Azure Database for MySQL using Azure DMS via the Azure portal. In this demo, we will be using the supported source server type of Azure Database for MySQL single server to migrate to an Azure Database for MySQL flexible server. To perform an online migration using Azure Database Migration Service, you will need a provisioned DMS migration service. For example, in this demo, I am on my own Azure Database Migration Service. The other two prerequisites to note would be having your own source server. In the case of this demo, an Azure Database for MySQL single server and creating a target flexible server. To begin with your online migration, you will go ahead and click on New Migration. It will now ask you for a few details regarding the migration project's name, source server type, and target type. For this demo, we will select Azure Database for MySQL single server, and the target server type will automatically populate to Azure Database for MySQL flexible server. Under migration activity type, you will select an online migration, and now you are good to select create and run activity. Next, this opens the MySQL database migration wizard. Here, you will be asked a few details for your source server. Enter the subscription, location of your single server, resource group in which it is located, the source server you wish to migrate, and the password for that server. Next, you will be prompted to enter the target flexible server details. Similar to the previous step, you will enter the subscription, location of your target server, resource group in which it is located, the target server you wish to migrate to, and the password for that server. Next, you will land on the select database screen where you can select migrate all applicable databases or select from the list of databases on your source server to migrate. In this case, we will migrate all applicable databases where it will also migrate all table schemas. Now you can select review and start migration. Next, the summary screen will prompt you for an activity name. And after reviewing all your source and target server details, you can select start migration. You can now see that monitoring the migration is going to show two tabs, the initial load and replicate data changes. On the initial load tab, we can see that it is running and within a few seconds, we can expect a completed status. Once that is completed, it will move on to the replicate data changes tab or simply hit refresh to update the screen. In the replicate data changes tab, this is where we are streaming bin log changes. As soon as the seconds behind source near zero, you can go ahead and click on Start Cutover, check in Confirm, and select Apply. The cutover is now in progress, and within a few seconds, it should be completed. So this is how simple it is to run an online migration for Azure Database for MySQL using Azure DMS via the Azure portal. Thank you for tuning in. To learn more about online migration for Azure Database for MySQL using Azure DMS, be sure to check out our announcement blog. And you can find additional tutorials on online migration using Azure Database Migration Service on the Microsoft Learn documentation. Thanks again, and we hope you try this feature and let us know your feedback.